Are you adding some hermit crabs to your family? Well, here are some tips on setting up the cage and some tips on when you get your hermit crab and where to buy. Well, when you first get the cage, it probably won't look like this because I've already filled the sand and built it. But you can get cages like this or you can get plastic ones. I know this looks like a hamster cage, but it actually is a hermit crab cage. So some of them will come with like little palm trees. You can set them up. This is like a climbing thing for them. You're also going to need a thermometer to tell the temperature. So then, once you buy the cage, you might want to get some decorations. That's what I have here. So I'm going to get, get this little bush thing, which costs $2 at your local pet store. You can just set it down anywhere you want. I'm going to grab this log, which was $5, and it came with many other logs, but I'm only going to use one. I don't want to crowd it up. I'm going to put it there. You can put it anywhere you want. You're going to need a water dish with a sponge in it. I'm going to fill that up in just a minute. You're also going to need a food dish. I'll show you what kinds of food later. You're going to need, you can have some decorations like this I'm Krabby sign, which costs $1.99. And you're also going to need some hermit crab shells. So I already have three hermit crabs, and this is the next size shell for my one which is a female, and I have two littler ones, and these are the two shells for them, a male and a female one. So you're going to need extra shells for when they molt, or change, sh shed their skin and change shells. So now your cage should look just kind of like this if you want, or you can change however you want. Make sure there's some room for them to walk, and make sure there's a door. And also, on the lid, you should have a heater to provide heat. I'll put the lid on later. So, one second, let me just get some water, and I will fill up the water. Alright, I got some water. I would advise that you use a water bottle, not, a, not tap water. Because tap water can kill your hermit crab. It's got some chemicals in it. And then you just want to soak up the sponge as much as you can. And remember to have a sponge, and always wash the sponge, make sure that it doesn't, it doesn't have much on it. Sorry. And for food, I use hermit crab cake. And for a tree, I use fruit salad. You can also feed them bananas, cut up. Apples, unsalted crackers. And you can feed them many types of fruit and vegetables. I wouldn't feed them meat. It's not very good for them. Well, you can feed them egg whites, but not the egg, sh um, not the, like, yolk. So, yeah. And a hermit crab looks like this when it's out of its shell. So I'm just going to put some food in. I'm not going to give them a treat now. It's not good to over-treat them. You don't want you only you would only give them treats or people food about once a week. One second, let me just get the food. All right, and crab cakes looks like this. Here, I'll take some out so you can see them. You can also buy crab flakes too. One second, just let me get some food out. This is what crab cakes looks like. So you just want to put it in the food dish. And I would I feed my hermit crab snacks every Saturday. So it's not too much. And you're also going to need a water bottle thingy, sprayer, whatever you want to call it. And you're going to need to squirt it for humidity. So then when I have a thermometer that also has the humidity tester, so this is the temperature and this is the humidity. For temperature, it should be 70 to 80 and same with humidity. Don't go over 90 because that can kill your hermit crab. And then once you're done setting up your tank and putting water and food in, you can add your hermit crabs. This is my female hermit crab, Holly. I'm just going to place her in right there. 
This is my other female hermit crab, Dolly. She's a very active one. And this is my male hermit crab, Wally. And then you're just going to need to find a nice place. I have it right here. I'm going to put the cage right here. I'm just going to put the water bottle back. One second, let me put the cage in place. Once you have a place for your hermit crab's cage, you can place the lid on with the heater plugged in. Oops. Put the lid on. And there. That's your hermit crab set up. So then when you, if you are getting more than one hermit crab, um, it doesn't really matter what gender because it's very hard to breed hermit crabs unless you have an ocean with salt water in it then the babies won't survive, so even if they do have babies, it won't do anything. So, the way to tell is if they come out all the way out of their shell, you have to look at their very last leg, and if it has spots or, like, hair on it, it is a male, and if it doesn't have that, its legs are just smooth, it is a female. And the bigger ones tend to be more aggressive, but remember, these smaller ones will eventually get to be that size. So... I bu this one was that size when I got it, so I buy the smaller ones, like, I buy them about, um, I'll show you the first shell of Wally. I don't have the first shell of Dolly. I don't know what happened to it. One second, let me find it. Sorry, I have a lot of shells. Here we go. This is the first shell of my one hermit crab Wally, the male. Yeah, see how small the hole is? He was very tiny. So, yeah, you're going to need extra shells just, like, all the time. Like, I wouldn't have a day without a shell because just the other day, um, Dolly just molted. And the only one that hasn't molted is the, the larger one because they usually don't molt. They, a lot, they usually mold every six months, where these guys maybe mold every month at the most, maybe every two months. So yeah, and when you get your hermit crab, look for ones that are more like active, not lazy, and are eating properly, and don't look injured or anything. I bought my hermit crabs from PetSmart. You can get them from Pet Smart, Pet Crazy, Petland, PJ's Pets, anything like that. Any pet store you go to will probably have them. There are a few that don't have them, so you might want to look it up before you go. So, yeah. And for the bottom, I use sand. You can get it in many different colors. I got it in sand color with black. And I clean out my hermit crab's cage once a week, and I feed them daily, and give them water daily, and I mist them daily. So, that's it. Good luck on your new hermit crab, and I hope everything goes well. And remember, hermit crabs live for up to 50 years.